I'ma take it. The issue about coronavirus has been going for a while now. One of the main confusions that a lot of people have here is the timeline. When did this start and what are the current updates? In today's video, we are going to see the history of coronavirus as of now and the current updates as well. December 31st, the first person who was infected with this virus was taken to a hospital and was placed under treatment. The doctors who treated him were completely baffled because they did not know what kind of virus they were dealing here. They have never seen something like this before and as they have not seen, obviously there was not a cure at that time. But now reports have been coming from Hong Kong that they have finally come up with a cure on which I will come back later in this video. On January 3rd, 45 cases were reported in China. On January 20th, it was 1800. On January 26th, it was 4500. And on January 29th, almost 9,000 people have been affected, 6,500 people have been under severe treatment and as I am shooting this video, the affected numbers have gone beyond 10,000 and almost 9,000 people have been put under severe treatment. These numbers can really go up by February and 140 plus deaths have been reported so far by China and the international media, especially the American media and so many other citizens who belong to other countries have been blaming China that the numbers that they are saying is not completely true and China has not been open about the numbers. What we have here is just 10 or 20 percent of the actually affected. In spite of all the allegations and criticisms against China, the country has been extremely silent about how this issue first happened and how many people have actually affected. We do not have the exact data about this. So if you have been following this topic for a while, you would have known about the city of Wuhan. China has been shutting down a lot of cities after this corona spread. Wuhan province is one such province which was completely sealed. Nobody can go in or nobody can come out and the population of the city is almost 11 million. The problem here is 5 million people from Wuhan province has gone out of Wuhan in the last one month alone. And we do not know how many of these 5 million people were affected. Even if 1% of the 5 million are affected, this is going to be a very big chaos. The virus has spread as far as Beijing, the capital of China. And not just China, numerous number of countries like Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, Australia, America have been reporting almost 18 countries have reported that they have found a victim with coronavirus at the range of somewhere between 1 to 20. 1 to 20 people in these 18 countries have been reported with coronavirus. Whereas 4000 people have come to India from China and the Indian Ministry of Health has mentioned that they will only be let into the country after pure inspection. Now Japan confirms that a man who has never been to China is affected with coronavirus. Now this is something that we all need to note very cautiously because it will become very important in my next video. The World Health Organization have made an official statement saying that they have underestimated coronavirus and ranks it high in global risk level whereas Japan is the host for Olympics this year and a lot of foreigners from various different countries are going to travel there. And immediately after this, China bans all seafood and animal markets and their consumption as well to stop coronavirus from spreading further. There is a widespread belief that coronavirus was actually transmitted from snakes but this is not confirmed yet. This is not true. The belief that the coronavirus was spreading from these kind of animals led China to immediately shut down all their animal markets. 350 samples from the so-called market was taken for research and 32 of them said to have been infected by coronavirus and out of that 32 just 20% were snakes, 80% were seafood. China has instructed its citizen to take preventive measures against coronavirus, which we can follow too. Number one is wash your hands no matter where you go, no matter where you come from, just wash your hands. And number two is start using masks. 
and common masks will not prove efficient against coronavirus. So there is the certain mask which is called as N95 and it is only available in certain regions of China and Taiwan. And Taiwan has already imposed ban on export of these masks because they might need it in future for their own citizens. And in South Korea, there's a huge demand for masks, whereas there is more demand than supply. And number three is if somebody is affected, they recommend them to be isolated and given treatment because it will take 14 days for the virus to show symptoms itself. It takes 14 days to just show the symptoms and the virus reproductive number is 1.5 to 2.7 which means that if one person is infected, he is capable of passing it to one to three people. So finally, Hong Kong comes up and says that they have found the cure but it will take 12 months to come to the market to give to common citizens. Note this point very carefully because it will play a very crucial role in my next video. The reason being is once a medicine or a vaccination is invented, it can't be given to humans straight away. It has to go through several stages of testing which will take several months to perform and only then it could be recognized if it's suitable for human intake or not until then people have to wait. And how this medicine, this vaccination would perform is, it will improve the immune system of a person. So when coronavirus attacks them, it will fail. It will not attack them because the immune system goes up. Now that has been the problem. People who have low immune system have been attacked by coronavirus and doctors and physicians who have stepped forward to treat them has been infected as well. And there have been deaths in certain cases where even doctors died trying to treat people. There have been numerous number of updates on coronavirus and as I was shooting this video, I just checked my cell phone and I read a news where the death toll has gone up to 170. I have previously mentioned in this video as 140, but by the time I was shooting this video, it has shoot up to 170. And India's first coronavirus victim is from Kerala who studied in the Wuhan University. Now, the biggest question that all the governments, all the countries have is how they're going to come up against this and the Chinese and their spirit is not something to reckon with. One video I'd suggest you to go and watch is how people in Wuhan have been behaving right now. They have been motivating themselves by chanting that Wuhan will not fall, but it will rise. And there are also numerous number of videos on YouTube where a city of 11 million looks deserted and depopulated. All these videos are available on YouTube. I would highly, highly recommend if you're interested in this, go check them out. I have asked you to remember three points from this video as they are going to play a very crucial role in my next one. Number one being that a man in Japan who has never been to China was infected with this virus. Number two being that the virus came from snakes was not true. It's not confirmed yet. And number three is Hong Kong coming up with a cure, but telling them it would take 12 months to reach the general public. So that's it for today's video. I'd really like to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below because there have been a lot of information on this coronavirus. I would really appreciate if you would share it with me. Also give me suggestions on what to talk about and what I have missed out on. So stay tuned, subscribe if you have not already to get further updates on this issue. Until I see you again, goodbye and take care.